Hey guys, a lot of you have been asking for my hair routine and I finally decided to film it today. I'm going to show you three different ways you can curl or style your short bob and my hair is inspired by Taylor Lachey, if any of you guys are going to comment that. But if I'm in a hurry, I take my Eva blow dryer with like the little straight part on it and that's what I use to straighten my bangs. It really helps keep my bangs in place and smooth out my hair without making my hair frizzy from a dryer. Also from Eva, I take their mini travel size straightener and I kind of just straighten around my face. This is my hair after it's been blow dried with their blow dryer and I just take whatever needs to be straightened and kind of just flatten it out. I also like to curl in the ends so they're kind of more framing my face and it kind of gives a 1920s bob look. This is typically my hairstyle when I'm in a hurry and I don't really have time to do my hair. Uh, what's great about having short hair and wavy hair, I guess, is you never know what your hair is going to look like. So I kind of just go with the flow. But I'm not going to make my hair perfect this time because I do plan on curling it after this. So I don't want to put too much heat on it. But I'm just going to say, you know what, this looks fine. We're, it's going to be what it is. <laughs> Also, side note, if you see something black pop out of my dress, it is my swimsuit. Next, I take my one inch Hot Tools curling iron with the clamp and the pieces around my face, I tend to curl towards my face. I twist it and then let go, twist again, and just let go. I don't keep the heat on that long, but then I twist it the other direction, twist it with the clamp, stay on, and then undo and twist and it kind of gives it a natural wave but again the pieces around my face I tend to curl towards my face so it frames my face and yeah that's basically it I do it all around my head and just alternating and what's great about having short hair too is I only do the top layer I don't have to do the bottom layer because my hair is so short so it literally takes me like five minutes to do my hair and it's the best thing ever. Another question I get all the time is what do I ask my hairstylist when I am getting my hair cut? I honestly just show her a picture of Taylor Lachey and say modify this to my face because showing a picture may seem like a good idea but it's not always going to look good on the same on you. So um, I just kind of told her to do what she thought would be best for my face shape. So she thinned out my hair and it's shorter in the back and longer in the front. I forgot what it's, that's called. I think it's either an A cut or a V cut. I get them mixed up though. So that's what I ask for. And then my fringe is just um, kind of messy and barely hits my brow bone, but I tend to have my bangs a little bit longer to my brow bone, if not covering my brows. But yeah, I think just asking your hairstylist what looks best on you, uh, but letting them know you want a bob is the right way to go. But in most of my pictures and mainly every day, this is what my hair looks like. This is how I do it. And again, it looks different every day, depending on what the day is a major glow down. <laughs> um, so this is my first hair routine video that I filmed and it was actually me talking but this is another way I curl my hair. I take the clamp horizontally and I hold the clamp horizontal and curl up, hold it, and then I let go and I let the curl kind of go into my face. So in this video, I'm filming half of my hair the way you saw it in the previous clip and this side of my head this way. Um, this is how I curled my hair when I was in Paris. It kind of gave me more of the 1920s bob look, but it takes a long time because you do have to do the bottom layer in order for your, all of your hair to be kind of curled in, but it looks really cool once it's all done. It just does take longer and I don't really have patience so I don't do it that much. 
So like I said before, it does take longer and I have to go through layer by layer to do this and there's no right way. It's just horizontally you hold the clip or the curling iron and then just let the curl do its thing. If you can see, it's kind of like a waterfall curl, I guess you could say. That's what I call it. And then I pick up top pieces, smaller pieces and different sizes so they're different curls that differ from each other and it's not all blended in together. Thank you for watching my hair tutorial. It's honestly not rocket science. I keep it very simple and easy, but be sure to like and subscribe and I'll be making more YouTube videos very soon. See ya!